Naruto was a series that revitalized our fascination with ninjas and the seemingly magical abilities they possessed. Gone were the days of the Sengoku period when ninjas were just guys that were good with spy work and throwing dust in people's eyes. And came the series that taught us all about the ways of the shinobi and gave us some bombastic music. Hi, welcome to Jump History where we explore the history of the creators behind some of the world's most renowned anime or manga series. I'm Ko, and let's get started with today's subject, the creator of Naruto, Masashi Kishimoto. Masashi Kishimoto was born in Okayama Prefecture on November 8, 1974, as the older identical twin of Seishi Kishimoto, who also made 666 Satan and Blazer Drive, but that's a story for another time. During his childhood, Kishimoto showed interest in drawing characters from the anime shows he watched, such as Dr. Slump's Erele and Doraemon. Alongside his brother, the two of them began to design their own superheroes. In elementary school, Kishimoto started watching the anime Kinikuman and Dragon Ball. During the following years, Kishimoto started idolizing Dragon Ball's original creator, Akira Toriyama, enjoying not only his series Dragon Ball and Dr. Slump, but also Dragon Quest, a series of RPG games for which Toriyama is the art designer of. While Kishimoto could not afford to buy Weekly Shonen Jump where Dragon Ball was published, he followed the series thanks to a friend from school who had subscribed to the magazine. By high school, Kishimoto started losing interest in manga as he started playing baseball and basketball, sports he practiced at his school. However, upon seeing a poster for the animated film Akira, Kishimoto became fascinated with the way the illustration was made and wished to imitate the series creator Katsuhiro Otomo's style. During his last years of college at Kyushu Sangyo University, Kishimoto spent time drawing manga and went to an art college with the hopes of becoming a manga artist. Upon entering college, Kishimoto decided he should try creating a chambara manga. Chambara is a Japanese film genre often called samurai cinema in English and is roughly equivalent to western and swashbuckler films. However, during the same year, Kishimoto started reading Hiroaki Samura's Blade of the Immortal and Nobuhiro Watsuki's Rudonin Kenshin, which used the said genre. In his second year of college, Kishimoto started drawing manga for magazine contests. However, he noted that his works were similar to seinen manga, aimed towards an adult demographic, rather than the shonen manga read by children and teenagers. Wishing to write a manga for Shonen Jump, Kishimoto found his style unsuitable for the magazine. When watching the anime series Hashire Meros, Kishimoto was surprised by the character designs employed by the animators and he started researching works from animators. He later met Tetsuya Nishio, designer from the anime adaptation of the manga Ninku, who he deemed a big influence. Now emulating the way of drawing from multiple character designers from anime series, Kishimoto noted that his style started resembling shonen series. Kishimoto's first successful manga pilot was Karakuri, which he submitted to Shueisha in 1995. This earned him an honorable mention in Shueisha's monthly Hop Step Award, granted to promising rookie manga artists. At this point, he was assigned to an editor, Kosuke Yahagi, and worked on a number of rejected drafts, including a slice-of-life manga, Michikusa, and an action manga called Asian Punk. In 1997, he wrote a one-shot version of Naruto, which was published in Akamaru Jump Summer. And in late 1997, while developing Karakuri for serialization, Kishimoto was offered a one-shot in Weekly Shonen Jump. The new version of Karakuri debuted two weeks later in Weekly Shonen Jump 1998 numbers 4 to 5, but was hampered by a sudden deadline and performed poorly in reader surveys, being cancelled almost immediately. Following the failure of Karakuri, Kishimoto reduced his output and began moving in a seinen direction with drafts for a baseball manga called Yakuo and a mafia manga named Mario, hoping to find better luck with a seinen magazine. But Yahagi, his editor, persuaded him to give the shonen genre one last shot and Kishimoto began working on storyboards for a fantasy one-shot. Magic Mushroom, but stopped when Yahagi called and asked him to instead develop storyboards for serialization. The two of them decided to submit a version of Naruto with a reworked story and world, and produced storyboards for the first three chapters, winning a spot in the magazine. With a six-month lead time, Kishimoto repeatedly revised and redrew the first several chapters of the series. In September 1999, the serialized version of Naruto premiered in Weekly Shonen Jump 1999 number 43, and the rest 
is Jump History. If you guys enjoyed this history of Masashi Kishimoto's road to creating Naruto, considering liking the video and comment who you would want to see next in Jump History, and consider subscribing to my channel to see more about anime and manga content. Until next time guys, stay good.